Napoleon Mall. Hey guys, <clears throat> Mall and I here. Thank you so much for joining us. You are such a creep. <laughs> I don't know how to start the announcement episodes. It's not a regular episode, so I don't know. Like, hey guys, thanks for joining us. Welcome back. We're here to welcome back. Tell you about all the things going on in our lives and what the future will hold. Yes, let's tell them what the future will hold. I don't know what the future will hold. I've been really wrong about the future a lot of times. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've 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 noticed that. I've I've gone back and listened to a lot of things we've said. Never happened. Never even came close. No, but I never claim to know that that was going to happen. I just said, hey, this could happen. Yeah, yeah. But we do know God Things willing, are happening. God willing, if, if we, we have the privilege of staying on this earth, we, we have a lot, lot of things coming up. Yes, we do. Uh, October, we will be taking the month to put together some sketch stuff. Mm -hmm. Do I wouldn't want to call it a press run, but we'll be on, on some Friends podcast. Yeah. Uh, because come November, we, we have kind of a big announcement the announcement will happen before november but mm -hmm. we will be starting in november twice a week yes and we're just going to take october to run around and, and talk about <coughs> we want to announce the announcement you got to announce the announcement you know that you know that's you gotta thing. go we have to run around and tell our friends about the announcement yeah you have to um but yeah we have a lot of things to uh announce a lot of things that we want to do uh some things that we want some content that we want to create and um so we need some time to get those things in order and to to get things right so yeah, because I mean, even even full transparency, like when when everything did happen, Mo and I kind of had to get put this whole thing together on the fly, more or less. Like mm -hmm. we had to jump right back into shit, so we yeah. never really got a time to to put together a structure and put everything uh, in the way that we wanted it to. So in no way are we disappearing in the month of October. You guys will see us. You will hear our terrible opinions. You will see everything. Right. But we are taking the month of October to <clears throat> kind of get together. Uh, the remainder of the year and 2022, mm -hmm. um, which will have us twice a week. Uh, we'll have way more sketches, way more visuals, uh, way more guests, way more random shit. So we ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. I'm I'm not. We a, can't be I'm not a bad boy because we're pod and for life. We ain't. <laughs> Contractually. <laughs> Contractually. <laughs> Contractually, actually, yes. Now that I think about it. Rory made me life. sign my life away. Uh, <laughs> I have no more social life, even though I never had one to begin with. Uh, that's, but Rory that's finally also talked funny. me into to signing my life away. Maul and I were just having one of our many conversations about our potting schedule and, and the new contract that, that we did sign that we're thrilled about. No, ecstatic about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Really, really good partnership. They counted us out, Rory. They, they thought did. we were dead. They did. They thought we were going to be homeless. <laughs> Did they? <laughs> no, they did. They hoped we would be. There you did go. Hope. They hoped. They, they hoped, hoped we they did. Hoped. They, they, hoped. Hoped. they hoped we were going to be homeless. I got news for them. It's not happening. No, I actually just purchased a home. <laughs> a very lovely home, by the I way. Just, yes, got, I'm, I'm a Rory, homeowner. Rory purchased a, 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 a lovely home. Congrats to my guy, Rory. I will be there. Whether you invite me or not, uh, I'm just going to show plenty up. Plenty of bedrooms. Yeah, show up and do what the fuck I want to do at your house. Um, and I think I'm too, but I'm too old to have the party house, right? No. Nah. You actually, you're actually the perfect age because you, you can have like, you can be the responsible guy at yeah. the parties now. Okay. You know what I mean? Like now you can't get as drunk. You have to make sure everybody mm. else is kind of okay. Yeah. Like that's your role. I'm, I'm at the age of, hey, someone take his keys. Exactly. <laughs> like I'm not letting you drive, buddy. You're at that age. Yeah, okay. you're, at, you're at that age. And like so, yeah. nothing will break. Yeah, like, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll know no. who put to all, invite. Put, yeah, put all the china away and, and yeah. give out the paper plates and the plastic cups. Responsible party. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. A housewarming. Absolutely. More or less, so a multiple house. Yeah, we're gonna warm your house all year. Don't worry about it. I'm, oh, wow. I'm gonna make sure. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure we warm your house all year, Rory. Don't An worry about it. Excessive amount of small gatherings at the same time. <laughs> right. Gotcha. Correct. Correct. But um, yeah, man, I'm I'm, I'm excited. Uh, you know, we finally got uh what we wanted. Yes. Um, and we're in, we're in good company, great company. The contract was so cool that I had to double back with our lawyer. Like, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm gonna tell you, like Biggs definitely. He, he, we, we talked on the phone. He was like, "Yo, how does it feel?" I said, "Yo, honestly, man, I, I can't even put it into words, man. It, it was yeah. a lot of emotions, but uh, the one thing I, I do love about it is it just feels good. It does. This, this feels good. Uh, there's a transparency, mm -hmm. a lot of transparency. Uh, we have the right people in our corner. We're in business with the right people, good people, great people to have the same type of vision we have. And understand the space. Understand the space. So it's it's just, you know, it, this this everything happens for a reason. You know, a few months ago we went through a thing 
And, uh, you know, we had a lot of conversations, Rory. We were trying to figure things out, you know, which direction to go and what we wanted to do. Um, so, you know, we we have it's been a long road. It's not yeah. it hasn't been a long time, but it's been a long road. And um, I think we landed on the on the right side, man. For sure. For sure. And I mean, we, we definitely took our time in that hyperactive short period of time, mm-hmm. but so much happening at once to meet with everyone and and this felt like the best option. So I'm excited to announce it, but we are taking this episode just to let you guys know that we will I don't want to definitely not going dark for October. No, 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 we'll, no. There'll be plenty of content. Yeah, it won't it just won't be the uh weekly podcast. Yeah, we just, we just have to get But you will see us, we will be visible, we you will hear us uh but we um we working, man. We putting some some really dope things together. Yeah, I'm I'm very very excited. Um but I mean, I guess we can make this a, a half quick episode. And just talk to the people real quick because they sent Maul a bunch of nice uh, birthday text messages and things of they uh, did, man. Of that nature. They did. I um, yeah, man. Birthday happened. Uh, did you do anything for your birthday? I didn't do nothing, man. I, I chilled all day. Um, I just got something to eat. It, you know, I wanted to do a dinner at a private room somewhere, but all of these restrictions and you know, vax cards and this and that, it's just made it difficult to try to get everybody mm. in one room. Um, so I'm gonna do something. Probably sometime in the next couple of weeks, though. Just got to plan it out a little better. But, um, yeah, man, I'm just happy to see another year. Uh, grateful for all the texts and emails and FaceTimes and tweets and DMs. Everybody that hit me to wish me happy birthday, I appreciate it. I, I never make my birthday a big deal, but... You it's know, nice to know other people. Everybody tried deal. to make it a big deal, so whatever. Well, if I you didn't it. send him a birthday text, send him a happy belated one to 917-810-2295. If he doesn't respond, I'm going to say thank you for wishing Maul a happy I, birthday. No, I'll respond. I, I will I know respond. You will. I will respond because I, um, I appreciate when people, you know, take their time to, yeah. to reach out. So, No, absolutely. Um, they were still asking for relationship advice through through things. I'm not quite sure why. Listen, we are the relationship advice. We have to just own it. I mean, I, no, I, I think I, we're doing a great job saving I've relationships. Been amazing at relationships. Yeah, so. I think I think do it. I think we're the, the perfect guys for it. I've been single for, for 29 years. Uh, that's just my personal I'm here. Opinion. I'm here for it. But, um, yeah, Damaris, you can read off some of the uh, questions if they have any. Yeah, we'll add a little bonus segment to our announcement segment. Yeah. Sure. The announcement, we of, always the announcement help people. of the announcement. Yeah, no matter what, we want to help people. We want to be here to help people. But Okay, so oh, wait, wait, wait. Because you bought me a birthday gift. I did. Oh, yeah. That wasn't really you. No, it's not from me at all. This is from uh, Kiara Lopez. The homie. Says, uh, yeah, she says, Dear Maul, thank you so much for being you. I used to be one of the Maul is too cool haters on your... Hi- <laughs> Wow! Whoa! Okay, <laughs> on your hiatus, I realized I missed your grown man energy. See, C- can I stop right there? See how fast they. You know how many DMs I get that are like that with a backhanded compliment? Like, oh, yeah? yo, you used to annoy the fuck out of me, but you all right now. But you all right, you cool. Yeah. So it's like, uh, okay, <laughs> all right, I'll take it. I'll take That's it. That's cool. <laughs> uh, on your hiatus, I realized I missed your grown man energy. You dress immaculate. Oh, I dress immaculate. Thank you. And at one point, I forgot how significant that is when people wear wild shit just to try and look cool. Thank you for defending black women consistently. Is that a sub? I, I, I'm just listening. He's not. I'm just reading. Uh, listen, I don't know what's happening. Maul, please keep giving that Bronx bad bitch. Whoa. <laughs> first of all, hey. First of all, Kiara, I am not a bad bitch from the Bronx. This is first from Bronx all, Nova. This no, right here. This is not from Bronx Nova. <laughs> That's uh, definitely a Bronx Nova. Please keep suit. giving that Bronx bad bitch beautiful energy vibes. Your karma really is beautiful, and I can't wait to see what more you have in store. I appreciate you and what you are bringing on this new journey. I love your podcast. From the skits to the genuine conversations, they do not seem like interviews. I will continue to support you in your endeavors. P.S. I'm waiting for podcast merch as well. Podcast merch is coming. Part of our We didn't want to rush that. We didn't want to look corny out here. Um, so thank you, Kiara Lopez. And there was two other two other uh, yes, young women uh, that, are, that are supporters. I don't know if you're going to read. Nainers, Nainers on socials. This is Nina Ba. It's her Hello, name. Hello, Nina. She says, Dear Maul, thank you so much for filling me with joy and laughter for so many years. Hey, you. you were always my favorite and still are. You always held your own and stood on what you believed and whether anyone agreed or not. And thank you for always defending and standing up for black women. We don't get that a lot these days. Mm. On Girls Who Love, I was the girl who voted you Beyonce. Wait a minute. So now I'm a, I'm a bad okay. bitch from the Bronx and I'm voted Beyonce? And remember, I was a little salty that they voted you as Beyonce. Yeah, like, I'm trying to understand like, what's listen, happening. Listen, I fuck with Kelly and Michelle. I just don't know if 
Yeah, uh, okay. I was the girl who voted you, Beyonce. I still stand by that, no matter what you think. Okay. And lastly, thank you for continuing to give us amazing content with new Rory and Maul. I can't wait until you guys have live shows. We have some live shows coming as well. That will be announced very soon as well. Um, you will always have a supporter in me. I hope you enjoy the gifts we personally picked out for you and can't wait to see how you style the merch. Love you, Molly Maul. Uh, and then there was one more young lady, the Cold Work. Uh, French is her name. Shout hey, Maul, French. it's French from the old Girls Who Love podcast. Just showing you some love and appreciation because this new growth deserves recognition for people like me who've been listening to you since your first episode on the prior pod. I love to see you finally in your comfort zone, opening up and letting us more into your life. I want to thank you for providing a listening experience that made me fond of you so much that I feel like we're family. I have so much love and respect for you. Nothing but the best wishes on all your endeavors. Those, those three sweet. women have been such amazing I appreciate supporters. that man I love them um, and this, Rory, I know I know I gave you this is from the four of us actually yeah no this is Rory, <laughs> Rory so Rory got me a birthday gift and uh so I gotta open it this is from the four of y'all yeah I don't, yeah, I don't wanna like, just leave Rory I out. was just the delivery person okay they gave me a, a I think this is a wine glass yes with my initial M on it okay appreciate that thoughtful this is uh, first of all, you are a Bronx bad bitch because you're doing an unboxing video on a podcast. <laughs> this, is nasty, right? uh, this is dope, though. They see they know me. They gave me a marijuana jar, uh, to store, prescription marijuana, prescription, yeah, yeah. only uh, to store my my uh, cannabis in. Mm. This is dope. I will be filling this with uh, some Gelato Thirty Three tonight. Ah. I just got some, so I gotta put that in there. They call um, weed Gelato now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, you're definitely wearing that, in Miami. In where? In Miami. That's that Miami teal. I know that's your favorite color. Can they hey. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's nice. This? I'll give this to a, a, a unsuspecting harlot that didn't know she was sleeping over. <laughs> 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 you know. You know they. You know they like that. Of course. I can't. I can't wear this. You can't wear yourself on your shirt. I think that's. <laughs> you know. I, no. You know. You know. It's over when she asks, "Can I have the shirt that smells like you?" Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, then they gave you a rolling head. tray. Oh, these oh, these women know me. To go with they, it. They, yeah, they know me. These women know me. They, they know me well. Eden, I'm sorry. You got to sweep all this shit up. It's okay. No, it's great. Oh, the matching crew neck. That's fine. Oh, so I can give this to a, another unsuspecting Harley <laughs> chili out. How do you choose which one yes, they got? she can steal your hoodie. <laughs> well, this is for the one that, you know, is like, she still, she still might be going home, mm, but it's okay. like kind of chilly out. Okay. Yeah, or so or if you're kicking out, you know, in this time of year, it gets really cold in the morning. Yeah. It warms up by the afternoon. Yeah. You're going to kick her out so early that yeah, 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 she yeah. may need some and, type oh, of warmth. Oh, no, this is perfect for the walk of shame. Right? So when you could put this over like the, the dress mm. and just like walk out with the flip here's, flops. Here's where this may backfire over on you, the though. dress. See, I'm, I could give you the walk of shame couture if you let me. I could do it for you. This, this may backfire on you, though, because that allows Shorty to then put on her IG story a selfie of her in the mall crew neck Ooh. thus saying look she, where I'm leaving she got it from merch it's merch she got that online from somewhere I don't know See? oh and a Rory Mall mug yeah they actually sent me a uh, a bed for Baisley with our logo on it oh. really a dog bed yeah oh that's fine. and they made some they made some great merch for me some wine stuff they, they're mm -hmm. amazing shout out to them shout out to the ladies they know me man they gave me a rolling tray a weed jar and they, a wine they, glass they are great that's trying Samaris, to sexy let's, me let's get some advice out here man Okay, so I'm going to leave people's names out of this. Um, what's up, y'all? I'm balding badly at 24, and I haven't been able to Same. get with any, girl, <laughs> any girls ever Same. since it started to happen. <laughs> any advice? I've Escort. Yeah, I don't think Escort has ever said, are you balding? Are I don't think that's... Yeah. I've never seen that in the Craigslist. Yeah, 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 they don't stop back, because back you're Backpage doesn't yeah. discriminate. To yeah, get an line. Escort. I mean... Or, Listen, man, I, as someone uh, who you guys say that I'm not balding, but we all see our, our faults before everyone else. Mm -hmm. Taper the sides. Taper Bro, the beard. sides. Fade. I, fade. I feel like if you're bald and you have a full beard, I feel like that's okay now. I don't, I've, I don't think that hair is really a thing if you have a beard. I think yeah. that that's something that women bypass and they don't care about it, as long as you have a full. Now, or if you don't a have a, Yeah, or buy a beard. Uh, or, or just get rich because chicks don't really give a fuck. Yeah, get to the bag too. If you get to the bag, they don't they don't even recognize what you look yeah. like anymore. Focus on your account, not your edges. Exactly. I like that, Rory. Focus <laughs> on your account, not your edges. All right. Yo, this girl I'm messing with is pregnant. I ain't gonna lie, I was making her a casual toaster strudel and she sent me the pregnancy test. She's not getting an abortion, but she won't take a paternity test either. I'm not trying to be on some deadbeat shit, but come on, my hands are tied. 
And he he should have pulled out of her toaster strudel. See, that was the problem. He left the, he left the cream in her strudel too long. Pull out pull out of the toaster strudel next time. <laughs> what you asking my advice? Is she not getting the abortion? I don't know what to yeah, tell you. Yeah, like congrats, man. Let us send us pictures. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Fucking new Rory and Maul for you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Oh, we got more. Can, okay. can the baby do our new drop? <laughs> Word. Put it, put these babies to work. <laughs> Um, I can't if you were dating a bisexual woman and she slept with another woman behind your back how would you feel I think y'all are weird that have an issue with this but I've been told plenty of men have an issue with this I don't have an issue with that I mean I would just say why are you being stingy but I wouldn't really be mad I'd be like are you being stingy like it takes a lot of weight off of me yeah I, I never understood I'm not mad at that, that. I, I don't I don't see I, I know guys that have gotten mad at that and consider that cheating so if your girl is at a party and drunk and instead of going home with you, she goes home with another girl, you won't be mad. No, 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 no. See, now you're changing the whole. I'd still be ecstatic. <laughs> if she... oh, Give oh. me the night off. Oh, we cheating tonight? <laughs> <laughs> we cheating? Yo, let I'll me bet. know. I didn't know he was cheating Because I got my own baby with the curls right there. So let me know so I can shoot my shit. Fuck yeah. that. Let me know when I'm the spare room at the party though. is open. Yeah. I'm Now, leaving with a woman while I'm there, that's a little crazy but if like i know my girl has a friend that she occasionally messes around with and she tells me that she did and here's the thing i that i would i may judge my girl on her selection i may feel a way if yeah, it's my like girl a ain't got good shit. taste yeah, yeah she ain't got good taste, little, uh, that's gonna cause an argument like you can't be out here messing with no whack chicks like yeah we not doing that she looked like she smelled like yeah, what are you doing like there? and she's a hoe. I heard she give it up to you know. It's like come on, your girl can't cheat on you with another woman that's a hoe. That's can, can women be hoes t- together? Like absolutely. I, how? What do you mean? They just start licking cat all over the street. I, listen, I believe in double standards, and I'm a misogynist, so I don't think I think you know how like negatives cancel out each other. Mm-hmm. If a woman is sleeping with a lot of women, that don't make her a hoe. She makes her curious and and a free spirit. She's just getting to know her gender. It makes her Republican? Is that- <laughs> <laughs> makes her unvaccinated. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, uh, one or the other. Okay, whatever. Yeah, no, I'm not mad at that, though. That, that to me, is, you know, women with women is, is just sex. Though, dating like a bisexual woman can be a lot. It oh, is no, a lot. Sh- it's a lot. Dating a, a whatever sexual woman can be a lot. Yeah. What else we got? Um, it's rapid fire. Yeah, what's good, Rory and Ma? I need a reason for my girl to break up with me besides cheating. Any advice? Uh, hey, I'd like to get rid of her. Hey, I'd like to break up with you. Uh, I'm broke. Ah. Lost my job. Mm-hmm. I I don't like Beyonce. That's a good one too. But Rory, <laughs> I there are very few men who just be like, yo, yeah, this ain't working. You can't. First of all, that's not realistic. Do that. You can't men, just tell a woman try to make you hate them, and they wait for you to leave. Really? That's what they do. Yes, I've done that before. Yes. <laughs> you, you try to make her hate you? Of course. I mean, and then I, you start feeling like, how do you not hate me yet? Why do you still love me? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? I mean, yeah, I I think that. Listen, man, don't. If you just don't waste somebody's time, I think that. If you feel like it's getting to the point where you don't like your partner or you're falling out of love and your your eyes are on somebody else and you're you know, you're spending time texting or talking to somebody else and you kind of feel like your attention is being pulled away and it's not there anymore, just be honest, man. Don't waste no I feel like people it's gonna hurt either way. This, Whether this you say it's not, no, I know you have never been in a relationship. Just be honest with her. I mean it's <laughs> like that's ever bro, worked. It's, it, listen, we gotta be listen, you gotta be real. It's gonna hurt regardless. If you give it to her raw, straight up. Or if you drag it on, I feel like she would love the fact that you didn't waste her time. She's going to be mad anyway, but like I think she'll find the silver lining. She'll still destroy your at shit. Least he, oh, yeah. She'll still fuck her. Break up with her in Starbucks. Yes. Do or, not, or in her place. Yeah. Do not break up with her in your in your crib. I will give you that advice. Do Though not I've, do that. I have seen a woman break stuff in her own house when we were arguing. And That's that, fine. What, that was just the sign. I was like, all right. Yeah. If you'll break all your shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't, I can't don't come have, back in my home. Yeah, yeah, that's totally fine. You can break your shit, make all the noise you want in your in your house. Uh, when the cops show up, I'm going to just be sitting there in the middle of all the trash like, I don't live here and I did not do this, so whatever. Or just tell her you're gay. That should get it done. I don't know, man. Progression. Yeah. All right, last one, and this is a random one. 
Um, both of you, can you tell them your favorite conspiracy theory that you truly believe to be fact? My favorite I'm conspiracy theory? <laughs> <clears throat> um, hmm. The moon one is just hysterical to me. Like, that's mm. just that's just funny. We landed on the moon in what, 1965 or some shit? And we don't fact check here, and I'm, and I'm ignorant. We landed like what, 1965? We ain't been back yet. We've been everywhere else. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but they was like, nah, we good now. We don't want to go. And the fact that they say they planted a flag they, up there. They USA said that flag. shit like they went, <laughs> they said that, like they went to a, the grand opening of a new club and went, nah, yeah. we went over, that's not, it's, it's not, not it. it. It's not popping. It's not it. Like, we ain't going back. We went to the moon. Um, go look at that footage now. They are chilling on a Hollywood set. <laughs> that one's just funny like they're jumping up and down like ooh no gravity <laughs> yo <laughs> they was at Sky Zone the whole time yes. that's, that's, that was the first Sky Zone that we, that we saw when they went, went on the moon that's a trampoline right there he's trying to breathe heavy like he's in space like <sighs> one long step yeah that one the, the, the landing on the moon is definitely one uh, this uh, is there. hilarious I and still then like the, the flag just just chilling, yeah, just chilling straight up. <laughs> I like the um, I like the uh the whole thing in in Area Fifty One. Well, you weren't gonna raid with us. Oh no, I was I wasn't gonna find. But do you I, believe it now that the the Pentagon has come out and said that there's there is aliens? They have been they've oh, been no, known I've, about this. I've shit. always believed that there's other life form out there. Um, I don't I don't understand how people don't believe that. Uh, is just the the galaxy and the universe is we haven't we there's still so much we haven't discovered so mm. i don't know how people could feel like we're the only form of life in the entire uh universe but yeah i absolutely believe in aliens i just think that the whole area 51 and storming it and all i think that's just a little you know i mean i where's area 49 or 50 and how why many areas are there? Yeah, like how many areas why, are there? Like, why we focus on 51? Yeah, that's, trying so, to throw us off. That's what i'm saying that whole thing is just you know uh, that's just always fun to read about, but I one million percent believe that there's other life form out there and on this planet as well. Listen, man, I go on for years about conspiracy theories. Yeah, I, just I, I watched a anyone. good conspiracy theory uh, doc the other day on Netflix. I forgot the name of it. I'll, I'll get it to you, but I don't know how I started watching it. But it's just crazy how one sighting, one video back in 1958 could lead to like years of research and history and was the video real and i mean listen was it edited and was it like it's just like fam this person probably literally was outside and just caught some that probably was a helicopter well you know we also many religions are based off something from absolutely ten thousand centuries that someone just like wrote that like yo absolutely this happened yeah and we just raised <laughs> now it's our a major kids. religion we just raised our kids i, I to believe it too i think currency is a hysterical uh conspiracy like money? The, yeah, banks. They said we're about to run out in a couple of weeks. <clears throat> I saw that. Next Tuesday, I think we're all out of money. <laughs> <laughs> that contract we signed, they just better have that. That's, that's one fucking thing I, I do. I don't want to hear any yeah, excuse. Yo, yo, give me government. That. Like, yo, the government. Nah, 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 fam. Nah, nah, we not doing that. Send that wire through, fam. I don't give a fuck what the government ran out of. It better be some money in this building somewhere. I know that. <laughs> To yeah. go do the, the yo, I got robbed. Yeah, excuse? I know. Yo, I know. they robbed me for everything. I know. Send the wire through, fam. Before we <laughs> before we tear all this shit up. Yeah, um, yeah, but that's just wild. The government running out. It's, what the fuck is happening right now? Well, I, gold. The the dollar was based off a value of gold at one point, I believe. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm ignorant, so fill my mentions of how stupid I am. I don't mind. That value has has drastically changed. So m money itself doesn't have very much value at all to begin with on what it started out as. Mm -hmm because they were printing so much of it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know now they're just gonna be like, well, should we print more <laughs> and just but, lower the value of it again and just have the whole market crash again? But see, all of this is very, very, it's just, it's interesting how things happen. Like now, you know, they said uh, President Biden is, the, he announced that they're gonna be monitoring any activity in your bank account if you have over $600. So like I saw if that was, that's on, fucked these, up. on Zelle, Cash App, if you're moving or receiving more than 600 they're going to start monitoring that. And it's just interesting now that they're saying that the government is running out of money, which I'm guessing is physical cash that they're talking about. Yeah. So naturally, everyone would have to go to a digital type of cash. 
Well, that's why I always laughed at cryptocurrency because I'm like, well, our currency is kind of crypto at this point. Right. Exactly. So it's just it's <laughs> interesting how all of these things start to happen. It's like a domino effect. You just we just have short term memory now, so we don't remember things from last month. And um, it's just funny how when you go back and just start reading things that happen, everything connects some way, somehow. So the government announcing that the country's running out of money with the president announcing that if you have over six hundred dollars in your cash app, Zelle, all of these cryptocurrency type of things, they're monitoring it. Taxes. They need their money back. Yeah, this is this is not a coincidence. And like I said, it's their money. Out. We're just borrowing it. Whether yeah. we earned it or not. We're they just, just, they, just, they just gave us $1,400 a piece a few <laughs> months ago. Now they're talking about they broke. Like, fam, what, where are we living at again? What is What the fuck is going on? But they better have that money in that contract. I know that. <laughs> I, with all that being said, <laughs> every dime in that contract better be there. That's what I do. And listen, now. that IRS come March 2022. Yeah. Whew, fudging expenses. Yeah. It's going to be a little different this go around. Yeah. Much, much different. But prayers for everyone involved, myself included. Yeah, me, me included. I have, an, I have I enough tax problems. If don't see from me or hear from me in a few, just know that they got me. Oh, I already got some IRS notice for twenty two grand out of nowhere after I fixed all my IRS problems. No, they letting you know they're watching you. <laughs> it's just like, yo, you got about this, the back end. <laughs> what happened to that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I paid yeah. this. I know, no, no, no. They, they, they ain't get their cut. I'm getting uh, letters from states I never even lived in that yeah. say, yo, you owe me some money, man. You, you made some money here one time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, so? Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I don't know what's going on with this with the government. Um, Remember when we... we thought our grandparents were crazy when they didn't want to put their money in banks and wanted to keep it in the house you're like no nah, I'm, I'm gonna keep my cash yeah, i remember I, they people laughed at me when i said the cash was underneath the mattress everybody laughed at me nah. i'm king in this country i got cash <laughs> yeah, the government worked. don't have cash <laughs> <laughs> they're out i got cash come, you gotta come see <laughs> you me. gotta come see me now they will yeah, see see? <laughs> everybody laughed at me everybody laughed at me they do have the armed forces though like i don't know how well that's gonna withstand against your block yeah, we won't. <laughs> we won't last. Here, take the money, fam. We won't. That won't be a long fight. Yeah, man. Before we wrap up, um, again, we uh we'll be back November second, um, and from there we will be putting out episodes twice a week. But through the entire month of October, we'll be putting out other types of content, some BTS stuff, some mm-hmm. sketches. We'll be on some of y'all favorite other podcasts. Yeah. Um, some random podcasts. So make sure you're following us. Uh on socials Rory and Mall we'll be posting all updates there mm-hmm. but but yeah we, we, we are not disappearing for the month we are just preparing for no, no, no. November and putting out some some different type of content so I'm, I'm actually excited for October and November yeah I'm, ex- I'm excited for this uh this next journey mm-hmm. this new journey um, me too again it just feels it feels good being with the right people and um having the right team in place now to do a lot of the things that we want to do that we talked about doing. Um, so yeah, we'll be back November 2nd. Mm-hmm. Uh, a new look. Well, definitely a new look. Um, new sound, mm-hmm. new structure. It'll definitely be a whole new approach. New, whole new approach to this podcast and thing. And it's time to have some fun, man. The hard yeah. part is over with. Yeah. And, and finally like some, you know, unique, guests some unique third mics some random friends that have nothing to do with podcasting or celebrity or any of that bullshit just (laughs) funny people we know from around the way like we're we're definitely going to experiment in in a unique way fun man i feel like i feel like podcasting got too because it became such a big money business it got too you know structured and it's Mm -hmm. like man let's have some fucking fun don't this this too structured corny shit is like man let's let's just have fun man yeah let's have fun for sure and uh in the meantime if, if you do want to talk to us 917-810-2295 both Ma and myself will be replying there we could shoot the shit in the meantime and yeah there'll, there'll be an announcement uh i guess in uh two weeks maybe maybe less um congrats man congrats to you as well yeah congrats we 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 we, we did we did what we wanted to do what we said we would do mm-hmm. um and what some people didn't think was possible yeah so I got to thank you and um, thank you to the listeners. Thank you, you guys. I mean, fucking that goes are the reason yeah, that we're here. The, the 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 major part, the only part that we're still here, is for the listeners, the loyal fan base, uh, the people that support, the people that don't support, yeah, people that try to figure out if they still want to support. <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate. Too. Yeah, I appreciate all of y'all, man. This is listen. This is all fun for me. This is all you know. 
it's all a learning experience and it's it's something that we're still building, still growing. But we have the right team in place. We have the right people behind us now. So now it's time to really have some fun with this. For sure. So, yeah, we'll see y'all November 2nd. Uh, be safe until then. Again, follow us on socials. We're going to keep y'all updated on everything that we're doing, everything that's coming and every, every, everything that's coming, everything that's happening. And, um, yeah, man, be safe and, and enjoy yourselves while we're going. But we'll be back real soon. Yes, sir. Peace. No worry, Mom.